and grow YouTube show. Yeah. Okay. So my first ritual has to do a little bit with being really intentional with where you place your plants. Now, of course we have Love. to consider okay. the needs of the plants themselves, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so knowing how much light Figure they that need, out. Yeah. You know, how much light you have in the room. But from there, this is really fun. And my book goes into this a lot. Like for example, where I'm sitting right now in my desk space, looking in front of me, I have a Dracaena a small dragon tree. I have a Sansevieria, a snake plant, and then I have a Syngonium. And those are extremely intentional. Dracaena and Sansevieria are both higher in more motivational yang energy. And mm -hmm. they're very much like, let's do the thing. Like when I look at a, here, I'm going to bring it down so you can see it. When I think about a Sansevieria, I often tell my clients, it looks like an exclamation point. I love that. Right? It looks like an exclamation it, point. It looks like an exclamation point, and that is the energy <laughs> of a snake plant. Is I love like that. Let's do it. Let's but also do this stay thing. Back, you know, like right. a little bit of like we. It, they're kind of protective, but they're also like, let's do the thing. Let's do the things. Dragon tree Dracaena also has a lot of that energy. So I have some plants around my workspace that are specific for like staying motivated, staying focused. But then I also have a Syngonium, which is got more heart shaped leaves and is a little bit softer, but is so adaptable. The Syngonium I have right here is both climbing and draping. Mm, so it has a little bit more of the go with the flow and open to receive energy. And so I'm balancing both of those in my workspace so that I have the motivation that comes when I look at my snake plant and my Dracaena. And then I have a little bit more of the open to receive a little bit more intuitive energy of the Syngonium which is great when I'm in a writing place or when I'm writing my moon letters or things like that, where I want to be a little bit more receptive and less like forceful. Um, so I'm very intentional with the plants and where I place them. So for example, another good example for a ritual with that, with snake plant, a great place to put your snake plants is at an entryway. They're beautiful in front of your front door. They look great, but they also have this energy of kind of, protecting against bad energy coming into your home and holding on to the desired energy within your home. So they're wonderful for that as well. So first ritual can be just getting really intentional with where you're putting your plants for the energies they can bring on. Boom and grow. 